I'd like to take this walk with you And see your face my whole life through <laughs> Oh my god, is he getting worse? It's like he's taking unvoiced lessons <laughs> So, what are you and Dim Shady doing for New Year's? <laughs> Well, it's our first together as a couple, so I want it to be special. Ooh, and Team Vogue says it's Trey Chic to throw couples parties. And Team Vogue also said a new haircut would get me a date. <laughs> Come on, Spirit, you'll have fun. Somebody has to count down as the couples prepare to kiss. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We'll do couples and singles. Maybe Zonra can perform. Charlie and I can sing the song that I'm working on. Oh, that's nice, sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> Remember the good old days when Charlie was just a boy's name and not an annoying French girl? <laughs> oh, bleh, 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 oh, nahs. <laughs> Sometimes at the start, you can feel all by yourself. Check, one, two. But I have a partner, but I can't turn no one else. Uh -huh. So don't isolate yourself when there's nobody around. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. I'll be back. So, Flex, who are you ringing in the New Year with? I gotta tell you, D, I'm thinking of spending New Year's Eve alone. There's nobody I want to be with. <sighs> Flex is tired. <laughs> oh, oh. Okay, don't look now. I, I said don't look. But that lying, two-faced, manipulative little man is sitting right behind us. Ooh, and Dwayne's here, too. <laughs> you know, you might be too hard on the guy. He seems very sweet. Uh, I thought that once. Before he put a tracking device in my car, hinted I was a gold digger and stalked me. No. Yes, girl, I had to change my pen number five times because of him. <laughs> hey, since when did Candy and Danielle start hanging out? Well, Candy does her nails every Saturday. Then they come over here for coffee after stopping at the ATM. You want Candy's new pen number? <laughs> Oh, so there's no coincidence that we're here. Man, I mean, I miss my candy. I mean, she hasn't spoken to me in months. What do you mean? I mean I've heard her say such popular phrases as get the heck away from me and shut up, shorty, and midget, please. <laughs> oh, how I miss candy's terms of endearment. <laughs> That's why I'm going to ask her out for New Year's Eve. Maybe you should ask out Danielle. Man, I told you I'm rolling solo for New Year's, man. Besides, she has a rule about dating her patients, even the really good-looking ones. <laughs> Well, look, Flex, do me a favor. Go over there and ask Candy if she has New Year's Eve plans. Oh, man, this isn't the fifth grade. Come on, Flex. If you don't, I'll go over there and tell Danielle that you like her, like her. <laughs> no, no, I, I, I got it. I'll go. But only because I'm taller. Taller people are more convincing. <laughs> ah, hello, lady. Oh. Ah, what do we have here? Mm -hmm. Cook up a date for New Year's Eve. You know, you can always call for takeout because uh, I do deliver. <laughs> Somebody holds him down. <laughs> Look, this is a fundraiser for orphans. Now, the women cook a dish and the men bid on it. The highest bidder gets the dish and a date for New Year's Eve with the woman who made it. <laughs> Sounds like an escort service with food. <laughs> you know, if you're not doing anything, you should come by. Well, I would, but I already have plans. I mean, what loser doesn't have plans on New Year's Eve? Mm. Hello? <laughs> mm -mm -mm, Candy, you are a sight for lonely, tear-stained eyes. <laughs> Midget, please. <laughs> Danielle, let's go. Uh, I guess we're leaving. Uh, Dwayne, if you want to talk, call me. That midget thing, had to hurt. <laughs> Man, look at this. Cook up a date for New Year's Eve? Man, some people are so desperate. <laughs> <laughs> hey, girls, what are you doing? Oh, we're making a banner for the New Year's Eve party we're having here which I haven't asked him about yet. <laughs> hey, Daddy. <laughs> Look, I know you want me to be safe on New Year's Eve, and, and what's safer than the house you provide for me? And should I have asked you first? Sure, but Spirit blew it. All right, you can have your little house party, but uh, the usual rules do apply. No drinking, no drugs, and no baby making. <laughs> but with one addendum. Get Spirit kissed at midnight. Oh, it's getting sad. Hey, French girl, boy, 
hippie dude. I heard about your little party you're having. I got cameras everywhere. See y'all. Hey, baby. Oh. <laughs> All right. Good news. Charlie got the band its first paying gig down at that new coffee house, being there. And there might be some record levels there. The bad news is the gig's on New Year's Eve, so we'll miss your party. But wait, if you're not here, you and I can't kiss at midnight. So you kiss later. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> I don't know what they do in your country, but here, the person you kiss at midnight is the person you're gonna spend your year with. Uh, <laughs> sweetie? <laughs> don't be silly. I didn't kiss Spirit last year, yet everywhere I go, there she is. Yeah, you sure have a lot of rules, Bridget. <laughs> That's not how you love. Love is free. <laughs> yeah. Well, my man pays for his love. <laughs> well, wait, that didn't come out right. Look, how about we take care of this right now? And we all just start kissing. I am not that desperate. Yet. Uh, excuse us. Why should I have to change my plans because Charlie booked a gig? Brianna, this is a paying gig. And even though my dad's paying my rental graduation, Butter and I have bills to pay. You think it's cheap living in this apartment? Come on, guys, let's go. Speaking of going, we're out of toilet paper. <laughs> Dwayne, what are you doing? Uh, I'm going through Candy's trash. Duh. <laughs> I'm looking for clues as to what dish she's making. You brought Candy's trash all the way over here, but you couldn't take it into your own apartment. Man, <laughs> do you have any idea how bad this stuff smells? Look, smell my hand. Come on, man. <laughs> Yam yeah, scrap. <laughs> that combined with the marshmallows and the brown sugar and this discarded how to make yams video. I think she's making candied yams. I, mean, I gotta tell you, Dwayne, you have stooped to an all time low on this one. You gotta be pretty desperate to dig through somebody's trash, man. Flex, I don't have any aspirin. Uh, uh, that's okay. It's, it's more of a, a stomach, throat, foot thing. <laughs> Man, she's got nothing but Neiman Marcus catalogs in here. No wonder she rents. Ooh, a recipe for ambrosia salad. Flat down? Uh, here's some antacid. Why is my trash can on my coffee table? I was wondering the same thing. Girl, you're gonna have to learn to keep house. You'll never get a man. <laughs> I'm supporting local orphans. I, I thought you said you didn't need a date for New Year's. Oh, why well, just have a date when you can have a date and a dish? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wonder who it will be. <laughs> and the highest bidder on the candied yams is Dueno Del Nux. What? Oh, like a player. Ah. Which means that his New Year's Eve date will be Danielle Price. <laughs> what? <laughs> Man, she, she, she made the ambrosia salad. Are you calling me a liar? I'm, I'm saying. <laughs> but since you asked, the ambrosia salad has the distinction of being the highest bid upon plate tonight, uh -oh. which is at $2,000 by Flex Washington. <laughs> which means that his New Year's Eve date will be Candace Taylor. Candace Taylor? Who the hell is Candace Taylor? <laughs> Candy? What? No! No, 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 this isn't right. Uh, there's been a huge mistake. You made the yams. Listen, don't tell me what I made, Keebler. <laughs> now, Danielle baked the yams at my house, and I used her ambrosia salad recipe. Well, how am I supposed to know that by going through your garbage? <laughs> you went through my garbage? 
Say who garbage, say what? What? What kind of man digs through trash? What? Yeah, what kind of man? Ladies, ladies, look, we're here for one reason only, and that's to keep the orphans from catching fire. <laughs> we should do this. Oh, but, Flex, uh, I don't... Dwayne, it's for the children. Look, Candy and I will go out and we're gonna have a great time, and you and Danielle should try to do the same. Well, Flex, just so you know, I do want to go somewhere expensive. Some place that has those fancy onion loaves. <laughs> forward to this, Dwayne. I think we'll have fun. Yeah. Yeah, be ready by eight. I found the boy I'm gonna be exchanging saliva with at midnight. Who, the boy who brought his own Funyuns? Yeah, it must be nice anticipating your New Year's Eve kiss with someone special. Well, I mean, I haven't spoken to him yet. I know, spirit. That was my way of focusing the conversation on me. Arnez and I should be together on New Year's Eve. And why aren't we because of Charlie? Brianna, what's going on with you? I don't know. Being in love makes you feel so vulnerable. You end up doing crazy things. You'll find out someday. <laughs> but I'm about to go down there and get my man. Brianna, you're going to leave your own party? A girl's got to do what a girl's got to do. Hey! <whistles> Listen up! We gotta step out for a minute. Don't take or break anything. My daddy has cameras everywhere. Oh, and, 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 and fun your boy's a narc. <laughs> and my new boyfriend. Huh? Huh? So you like mm. the best onion loaves in town? Wow. Yes, this is nice. You know, I admit, I never got the whole flex thing. <laughs> See now how you make an impression on a lady. Mm -hmm. A bottle of your most expensive champagne. You like? <laughs> I found this place on the internet. <laughs> Flex. It... Dwayne? Oh, what a co wicked thing. <laughs> oh, uh... You've got to be kidding me. Mm -mm. We see right through you and the penguin. <laughs> Now, I don't know about you, but I'm leaving. Wait, 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 wait. What are you gonna do? Go home and sit around in your brand new dress and eat hog dogs because you're hot for your client who lives in your building? <gasps> oh, so you are feeling flex. Building who, class? Say what? <laughs> uh, listen, uh, the maitre d' said that he only has one table left, so uh, we're gonna have to sit together. Well, I'm not sitting next to the hobbit. <laughs> you think you're pretty smooth, don't you? No. <laughs> Not at all. Rose for the lady. <laughs> Flex, I'm not your date. Oh, I know. Dwayne, pay for that right now. <laughs> don't tell me that you don't like anything about me. I'm sitting in your right stand. You think that I don't know is dumb. I got to feel inside. Maybe I can feel the same What you do, it's up to you So maybe you should try again Or maybe you should up there, sashaying around my man Yeah, that's right, I said sashay To never go again, please stop Brianna, it's all just a part of an act of putting on a show It's all very innocent Up to now you know, sweetie, can you hold this for me? Because if the crowd loves that, <laughs> they're going to love this. <laughs> Brianna, I am your friend, and I will not let you embarrass yourself, even though you let me do it all the time. You know how it should be done. I just feel inside. Maybe I could feel the same. What to do? Danielle, um, a, a toast to the best date I've ever had. Yeah. Oh, mm, 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 mm. Uh, Flex, uh, why don't you have some of my crab cakes? Uh, I don't want any crab. Oh, mm. oh, uh, yeah, yeah. oh, little fool, Danielle. Uh, <laughs> oh, Danielle, don't you look so fine with that sauce dripping down your lip? Come on, Flex, we're dancing. I'm guessing you're leading. <laughs> Don't you think this is getting out of hand? You need to stop playing games. I mean, you even dragged me and Flex into this farce. No, I didn't drag Flex into this. This was his idea. He wanted to be with you. 
He went to all this trouble just to be with me? I, I mean, I thought he was doing it for you. Oh, quick, they're looking. Give me a kiss. Give me a baby. Kiss. Kiss me. Wait, look at him now, playing patty cake with her. He loves that game. And you know he loves you too, Candy. But then why does he lie, spy on me, and dig through my trash? Flex, what kind of person does that? Dwayne does that. Look, people do foolish things when they're in love. And we both, we both know there's no bigger fool than Dwayne. <laughs> yeah, but he drives me crazy. I know. See, but... <laughs> Last week, Dwayne spent the whole day in a tub getting pruny just to see what he looked like when he got old. But you know, as the day went by where he wasn't in my refrigerator stealing my food or practicing his Emmanuel Lewis impersonation, you know, I wouldn't know what to do. Uh, Candy, guys like Dwayne, they, they need lots of second chances. Yeah, I do miss him. Come on, baby. just one kiss. Give us one kiss. This is ridiculous. Let's go. It's now or never, okay? You tell her you love her, and if she rejects you, you move on. May I cut in? Oh, uh, yeah, uh, oh. please do. <clears throat> Candy? Baby, I, I love you. I'm out. I worship the ground those big feet walk on. You know, I know I've been a fool in the past, and I'll probably be a fool in the future, but, but I'll always be your fool. Baby, give us another chance. Oh, baby. You had me at big feet. Oh. <laughs> okay, so uh, how much longer are we going to keep doing this? Dance. Um, well, that depends. You're gonna keep stepping on my feet? <laughs> <laughs> but not this dance. I'm talking about the dance we've been doing for the past couple of months. Oh. Well, I hope you're wearing comfortable shoes because this dance could take a long time. And trust me, I'm with it. Oh, you gotta go there with it. Oh, all right. on New Year's Eve so she can get Arnaz all to herself. Yeah, Brianna, it was all a part of her evil French plot. Next, she's gonna bring back culottes. <laughs> well, why did he just stand there and let her kiss him? What was he supposed to do? He could have punched her, I was going to. <laughs> Ooh, girl, I gotta find my man. What I mean. Oh, I don't know. Somewhere kissing your French bluesy. I saw you. Yeah, I saw you seeing me. And seeing as you had seen me, I saw that I had to come see you. See? Why did you kiss her back? I didn't. Well, you didn't stop her. Uh, Brianna, she's French. She'll kiss anything. <laughs> Besides, what was I supposed to do? Hit her with my guitar? That's what I would have done. Wow, why are you being so jealous? Because... I see you up there doing your thing, women throwing themselves at you. I mean, that's how it is when you're a rock star. Rock guy. Well, what am I supposed to do? Trust me. Look, Brianna, what we have is special. And nobody can break us up but us. And I don't want that to happen. But I don't want you to keep acting like you'd rather be up there doing your rock star thing than be with me. Brianna, it's midnight. Band's across town playing a gig. Where am I? Happy New Year. I see the place is still in one piece. But what's that smell? No <laughs> way. Bunions. <laughs> so did you have a good time? Yeah. 
have a nice night? Oh, everything's been perfect so far, except for one thing. What time is it? Uh, 1.59. Oh, well, it's almost midnight in Denver, which means it's not too late. For what? For me to give my favorite girl a kiss. Happy New Year's, baby. Happy New Year's, Dad. Uh, Funny boy, come back! <laughs> Love you too, Netta.